Welcome to Bear Tech Presents. This is a lesson on using SketchUp Make. And in this lesson, you're going to learn to make a cookie cutter. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the Symbolo page and you need to click on the Office 365 link. And when you do that, Office 365 will open up. It's going to look a little like this. And you're going to click on the OneDrive tile. And when you click on the OneDrive tile, it's going to look similar to this. And what you're looking for is you're looking for a, a folder that says shared. And so it's on the left hand side. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on it. And when you click on it, all of the folders that have been shared with you are going to show up in this window. Okay. And you're looking for the folder called shared technology folder. Okay. So you're going to click on that to open it up. And once you do that, it's going to look like this inside of it. And so this, this has all of the folders that I've put inside of this shared technology folder. And the one you're going to focus on is the one that's called SketchUp. And you're going to click on it. And you're looking for a folder called Cookie Cutter Lesson. And you're going to open that up. And inside this folder, you will find several pictures. The picture that I want you to um, download is the one called Mickey Mouse Head.jpg. And there are two ways that you can download this. The first way is by coming over here to these three little dots. I call them the ellipsis. And if you right click on that and then select the word download. Okay. Now notice that when I did that, it automatically put a check in this circle that was already there. So let me show you so you can see. See how there is no circle, there's no check there. The second way would be for you to come along and physically put the check in there and then to come up to the very top and click on download. Now when you click on download, it's going to drop it down here at the very bottom of your web browser because 99% of you are using Chrome, Chrome automatically puts it here, okay, to show you that it's there. And it's actually being downloaded to your downloads folder, okay? So now that you have this Mickey Mouse head picture downloaded, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go ahead and pause the video. And if you need to rewatch this so that you can follow the steps again, then you're going, to, you're going to do that, and then you're going to come back uh, for the next step, which would be step number two. Welcome back. This is step number two of the SketchUp lesson for making a cookie cutter. So the next step is for you to open up SketchUp Make. Now, for a lot of you, it's probably on your desktop, but as you can see on my desktop, I have nothing there. I have SketchUp in my taskbar. So you're going to open up SketchUp and remember to only click on it once. If you click on it a million times, it's going to open up a million copies. And when you do open up SketchUp, all of us have already set our um, template to woodworking millimeters. So we don't need to choose a template. All you need to do is click on start using SketchUp. And when you do click on that link, it's going to take a second or two for it to open up. And hopefully you have um, the toolbar at the top and the toolbar along the left hand side. If you don't have the toolbar on the left hand side, this one here is called the large tool set. And the one on top is called getting started. So there are several ways that you can do this. Um, the first for most of you, the first way is going to be for you to go to view and then click on toolbars and then make sure that there's a check here in the large tool set and then click on close. Um, for others, you might find it easier to right click in this area right here, okay? And then select large tool set. So that's the second step in this process. So I'd like you to go ahead and pause the video and open up SketchUp and then come back for the next step. Welcome back. This is step number three. And in this step, you're going to make 
a square that is a 90 by 90 uh, dimension, okay? So before we begin, I need to make sure that you are able to see this box down here that says measurements, okay? For a lot of you, when you open up SketchUp, it, it may look a little like this. And I can't really get my computer to do it now, but um, it may look a little like this, where it looks like it's all over, your, it's completely covered your screen. <laughs> I just made it do it when I didn't want to do it. But here we go. For a lot of you, it looks like this, and you think you're seeing what I have on my screen, but you don't. Notice how you cannot see down here on the bottom right hand side. So what I want all of you to do is I want all of you to click on the icon here to maximize this window, okay? And when you maximize it, if it's already maximized, it may take it back to its original form, but if it's already maximized, you're good. But double check, okay? And now down here, you can see the measurements box, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're going to grab the rectangle tool and you're going to come along and click on the rectangle tool. Now, if your keyboard is one of those keyboards that allows you to use the shortcuts, on your keyboard, if you hit the letter R, it's going to give you the rectangle tool. Okay, And what you're going to do is you're going to start at the origin. Notice how when I put the cursor there, it said origin. And I'm going to click and I'm going to drag. Now, look over here at the dimensions that I have. Remember I said I wanted it to be a 90 by 90? Okay, so as you can see, it's not 90 by 90. It's massive, this box. So now that I have clicked and dragged and made a rectangle, I'm not going to click anymore. Notice that I haven't clicked. Even though I've moved the cursor, I have not clicked. What I'm going to do next is on my keyboard, I'm going to type in 90 comma 90. And notice how what I just typed in shows up down here. Okay. And then I'm going to hit the enter key. And if I did this correctly, this box should be a 90 by 90. And I didn't do it correctly. So let's try it again. I was talking and not paying attention. So 90 by 90. Click. 90, comma, 90, enter. Bam. Bob's my uncle. So you notice how it changed sizes, right? So now I have a 90 by 90 square. And I'm going to orbit around. So again, I'm going to use the letter O on the keyboard to get my orbit tool around here. And I'm going to orbit it so that I can have it, so that I'm looking at it in this perspective. If your keyboard doesn't work for the shortcuts, then you're going to have to always come up along here and click on the tools. You won't have the benefit of using the keyboard shortcuts, okay? I apologize. For some of you, it's going to work. For others, it's not. So you're going to pause the video. You're going to make a 90 by 90 square. And then you're going to come back for step number four. Welcome back. This is step number four. In step number four, we're going to import that JPEG of Mickey Mouse's head. Okay. So what I want you to do is um, I want you to go up to File, Import, and it should be right here. There it is. File, Import. Okay. And we're going to go to our download folder, which is right here, download. And you may have to scroll down here and find yours. But as you can see, I can find mine right now. Now, for a lot of you, actually for most of you, um, it's going to look a little like this. It's actually going to look like this, where you're going to you're going to go into your your um, download folder and you're not going to be able to see anything whatsoever. And your first instinct is going to be to raise your hand and say, Mr. Rocha, it's not here. 
but I don't want you to raise your hand. What I want you to do is I want you to come down here where it says sketch up files in this little uh, window here and I want you to click on it and then I want you to select all supported image types okay so you're gonna click on all supported image types and then when you do that voila there's Mickey Mouse's head okay and so you can do one of two things you can click on it one time and then select import or you can double click on this picture okay so I'm gonna double click on it because that's just what I do alright I'm gonna double click on it now when I double clicked on it or when I click on import it's going to automatically pin the picture of Mickey Mouse to the very edge or tip of my cursor okay and I'm gonna bring that cursor right down here and that's actually the origin that I'm putting it on and it turns into this little green circle and it even tells you that it's on the end point okay and then I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag okay I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag and I'm gonna try to get Mickey Mouse as close to the edge and now it tells me that it's on the edge and I'm gonna click one more time and I'm not done yet so pay attention once I have the picture inside the box I'm going to click on this background right here alright so that you see those little those little dots right there and you can do one of two things you can hit the delete key on the keyboard or you can right click and select erase okay so I want you to do that and then you're gonna come back for step number five welcome back this is step number five of making the cookie cutter so now that we've imported the picture and we have the picture inside of our 90 by 90 square we're going to trace uh, this now you might say wow that's kinda of crazy Mr. Rocha how am I gonna trace this well you're gonna use the tools that SketchUp provides you so when I'm looking at this what I see is I see circles okay I see a circle here for Mickey's face and I see somewhat of a circle for Mickey's ears okay um, one could argue that they're really not circles they're more of an ellipsis but you know what I'm gonna call them circles so I know that in SketchUp there is a tool that I can use and what's it called that's right it's called the circle tool okay so I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna grab my circle tool now if my keyboard shortcuts work what key am I going to hit that's right the letter C C on the keyboard lets me access the circle tool now I'm just gonna kinda of eyeball it here and I'm gonna zoom in a little and I'm using the roller ball on my mouse to zoom in and out okay and so I'm going to just kind of eyeball this, and um, I'm going to say, "Yeah, it's right here." I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to pretend that I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, so I'm going to just say, "Oh, I'm going to make my circle here, and I'm going to go boom." I'm like, "No, that's that's way too big." So on the keyboard, I'm going to do Control Z. That works for everybody, regardless of whether or not your keyboard shortcuts work. So I'm just going to I'm going to kind of eyeball it and go, okay, and this is, it looks like to me like this would be the center of the circle, and I'm just going to come out here and, hey, close enough for counting work, all right? So now I've got a circle there, and I'm going to come along here, and I'm going to, I'm going to do one of Mickey's ears, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball it again, and I'm going to touch it, and I'm like, oh, that's too small, all right? So I'm going to do Control Z again. And I'm going to maybe get a little closer this time to Mickey's face. And I'm going to make another ear. And a little better, not much. But when I make this ear right now, I'm going to pay attention to the box down here where it says radius. Notice how it says radius of 15.5 millimeters. 
And that's going to be important for me because what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. Notice I find the center of my circle and SketchUp is kind of giving me a, um, a, a dotted red line. Okay, it's, it's assuming that I want to make another circle on this SketchUp file. And because I want to make another circle, it says, hey, let me help you out by giving you this dotted line so that you know that the circles are lined up. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to eyeball it. I'm going to say right about here. And I'm going to click. And I'm going to make a huge circle, a big fat circle, actually. And watch this. And on my keyboard, I'm going to type in 15.5 and then hit Enter. Bam. What is that? Bob's your uncle. That's right. And so now what I have is I have three circles. And I'm almost done with, with my Mickey Mouse cookie cutter. So what I need to do is I need to um, erase some lines. So on my keyboard, I'm going to hit E for eraser. And I'm going to erase these two lines right here so that I have what looks like a Mickey Mouse image, right? So I want you to do this. Come back for step number six. Welcome back. This is step number six of making a cookie cutter. So we've traced Mickey as best we can. And again, it's not going to be perfect. Um, so we're going to use another tool in our SketchUp toolbox that's going to help us uh, make this cookie cutter. So I want my cookie cutter to have a thickness. I want it to have a wall. Okay, There, there needs to be a wall or a thickness for my Mickey Mouse in order to print. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click inside of the uh, Mickey Mouse outline that I created. And then on my keyboard, I'm going to hit the letter F. And the letter F is for the offset tool. Now, if you're not familiar where the offset tool is, here is the offset tool right here. Okay. But on my keyboard, I'm going to hit the letter F. And because I clicked inside of this geometry or this shape and I hit the letter F, the, the offset tool automatically picks an edge and it's, it's, it's following me. See that? It's following me, right? It's almost like the follow me tool, but it's not. This is called the offset. And so when I, when I have this offset tool uh, selected, what you're going to do is you're going to click and drag and notice how I can I can make um, another outline of Mickey Mouse okay and again I want you to pay attention on the bottom right hand side let me come over here bottom right hand side where it says distance what that is telling me is that the distance from this line to this line is 3.8 okay so let me undo this and we're going to do it again. So I'm going to hit F on the keyboard. All right, well, first I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit F on the keyboard and then I'm going to click and I'm going to drag. Now for a lot of you, you might find it easier to do it this way. I'm not sure why, but you might find it easier. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. It's all the same, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to do an offset and I'm going to make it, I want my offset to be um, four. That's just what I want mine to be. Um, I would suggest anywhere from three to five. Okay, so four is a good number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and then on my keyboard, I'm going to hit 4.0 and then hit the enter key. And automatically, it gives me the distance of four millimeters. So what that means is that from here, from this point here to this point, it's four millimeters thick. Okay. So I want you to do this and then you're going to come back for step number seven. Okay. Welcome back to step number seven of making the cookie cutter. So this is a step I should have had you do earlier and I just remembered right now. So what I'd like all of you to do at this point is to go up to File 
and you're going to click on save okay now I've already done this step so I have to click on save as in order to show you but because you have not done this step you will have to click on save okay so you're going to click on save and when you do that it's going to open up a box here and it's going to yours is going to say untitled what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go to your document folder and then I'd like you to give it the name of last name dot first name dot cookie cutter okay now notice how mine says Rocha dot Charles dot cookie cutter v2 version 2 well, that's because I've done this a couple of times you don't need the v2 okay for version 2 you just need first name dot last name dot cookie cutter and make sure you put it in your document folder and then you're going to click on save okay and when you do that at the very very top up here it's going to show the name last name dot first name dot cookie cutter all right do that come back for step number eight welcome back this is step number eight of making the cookie cutter and you're almost done trust me so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to orbit around and zoom in a little and you're gonna you're actually gonna let me zoom out a little so you can see what I've done um, here's what it looked like okay I was looking at it straight on what I want you to do is I want you to kind of lay it on its side Actually, I don't want you to kind of I actually want you to lay it on its side and then I want you to kind of orbit around here and this is a difficult task I, I, I understand that so don't don't get frustrated okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using the follow me tool now this is so cool so what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna grab the line tool and that's this one over here that's the pencil but it's called the line tool on the keyboard it's it's the shortcut of L and what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the letter L or hit the letter L and then also on your keyboard you're gonna find the little arrows uh, the up and down the left and right arrow okay what we want to do is we we want to draw on the blue axis okay so it should be the up arrow on your keyboard okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the up arrow and you're gonna to begin to to draw the line now let me show you I'm gonna hit the left arrow on my keyboard and see how it turned it to the green axis I'm gonna hit the right arrow and it's gonna to go to the red axis so I'm gonna go back to the up arrow and it brought me to the blue axis so I'm gonna I'm gonna to begin to draw and I'm gonna click and then I'm going to type in 10.0 and then hit the enter key and what it does is it draws a, a line that is 10 millimeters tall and then I'm going to hit the orbit tool again and I'm going to orbit around a little more hit the space bar because that's the select tool and then I'm going to hit the letter L for the line tool one more time and I'm going to come to this other point and it automatically um, brought me to the blue axis but if it doesn't you hit the up arrow you click and then type in 10.0 enter okay and now I'm gonna orbit again so that you can see I'm gonna zoom out and then zoom back in here okay and then I'm gonna get the line tool one more time and see it automatically snapped it there and I'm gonna connect it here I'm gonna get my select tool so the reason I'm using the select tool is because whenever I grab the line tool it automatically snaps to the nearest line that it was on so the select tool gets me out of that okay so I'm gonna get the line tool again and I'm gonna connect it here and what I now have is I now have this rectangle shape okay and let me just kind of orbit around so that you can see it okay now um, we're almost done here so bear with me so I'm gonna go back to my line tool letter L and I'm gonna find the midpoint of this top line and the way you can do that is you can just bring the, the line tool along and follow it and then it'll, it'll find the midpoint 
and then I'm going to find the midpoint of this leg or this side and I'm going to come back up here I'm going to come here and I'm going to find the midpoint here okay so it tells me how it says midpoint right there okay and then I'm going to grab the eraser tool which I'm going to orbit around so you can see this and I'm going to grab the eraser tool and I'm going to zoom in so you got to be careful when using these tools here so from this perspective right here for this angle right here if I get the, the eraser tool and I accidentally click on this line back here I'm erasing part of Mickey's outline right I don't want to do that so I hit control Z to come back so I just want to hit this okay and then I want to delete that one and that one so what I have is what looks like um, a house but it's not really a house you'll see in a minute so once I have that done I'm gonna orbit around maybe zoom out a little I'm gonna get the select tool and I am gonna select one of these lines either this inside line or the outside line it doesn't really matter which one you select okay but I'm I'm gonna select the inside line so I'm gonna click on the inside line and then I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to continue to click all of the inside lines and notice here how it looks like it is connected and it is connected but I want you to be extra certain so I'm going to hit the orbit and I'm going to come around and it should be connected if it's not connected then you hold down the control key and you make sure that you click it so that it's connected okay so now be prepared to have your mind blown okay here we go with the outline of Mickey selected I am now going to click on the follow me tool and then I'm going to click on the face of this shape that I just created I'm clicking on this face and watch BAM Bob's my uncle and you're like whoa I told you mind blown okay so I want you to do this and then come back for step number nine welcome back to step number nine of making a cookie cutter with SketchUp so I'm almost done there are a couple of things I need to do and one of the things that I need to do is I need to erase um, lines that I don't need and so I'm gonna hit E on my keyboard and I'm gonna, that brings up my eraser and I'm gonna erase those lines and I'm even gonna erase the picture so I'll just click on the picture here's another line that I don't need okay I'm gonna orbit around here and take a look at this all right so let's look at the bottom see that I'll come back and fix this what I don't need is I don't need the inside of Mickey I need this to be hollow or empty so I'm gonna grab a select tool and there's several ways that I can erase this the first way is using the select tool so you you would click one time and then on the keyboard hit the delete key okay I'm gonna do control Z to come back the other way would be to get the select tool and right click on that face and then hit erase and come back the third way would be to use your eraser and then right click erase it doesn't matter which method you use as long as you erase the inside okay I showed you those three ways simply so that you will understand that there's more than one way that you can erase okay so now I'm gonna orbit around to the back to the bottom right and as you can see it's it's open I need it to be closed so most likely you're going to see this line right here okay so all we need to do is get the line tool and I'm going to connect over here on this end and that fills it in I'm going to do control Z just to show you I picked that one because it was closest but you could choose another one it doesn't matter which one you choose okay so I'm going to come back to my original one and now I'm going to erase these extra lines okay now I'm almost done I'm going to show you 
another cool little trick. Okay, so I'm going to come back here. All right, so I get the select tool. I'm going to come up to View Face Style X ray. And what that does is that gives you X ray vision. So what you are seeing here is the inside of your cookie cutter. You're looking through it in x-ray vision. Okay, And the reason we're doing this is because we're looking to see if there are any lines that need to be erased. Okay, Extra lines. Obviously there are lines in here, but we don't want to erase every line. We only want to erase extra lines. So, if you don't see any extra lines, then you're good. Okay. If you're not sure if a line is an extra line or not, try this. Let me zoom out a little. You can just get the eraser. And if you erase it, oh, look at that. It looked like something disappeared, right? Yeah, it did, a wall. So I'm going to do Control Z. If you're not sure if a line should be there or not, raise your hand and call me over um, so that I can help you just to make sure. So, the way you get out of X-ray view is by going up to view and selecting face style and then deselecting X-ray. All right, so we are done, believe it or not, with making the cookie cutter. It's not ready to be printed, but it is, it will, it can be printed, but we're not going to print this one just yet. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to file and save. And that saves your cookie cutter, okay? That saves it in the SketchUp file. So, go ahead and stop the video. And if you need some help, please raise your hand. Otherwise, I'd like you to get up and help your neighbor if they may be struggling, okay? So, this concludes this lesson on making a cookie cutter.